So you see Angelina Jolie's face? That's Botox. This is no Botox. You see a lot of people out in the health industry? Got Botox. Doesn't make them bad people. I'm just saying that when you're looking at wrinkle-free skin, ask yourself the question, has it been Botoxed? Now today's topic is advanced glycation end products. Everyone says, like guys like Lustig and Robert Lustig and that say, if you eat a lot of fruit, you're gonna increase your advanced glycation end products. It's gonna increase your AGs. It's gonna age you faster. I'll tell you why Robert Lustig doesn't have many wrinkles. It's because he's fat. It's not because he's doing Botox like other people are doing, because he's fat. And just because you're fat doesn't make you a bad person. Robert Lustig is the, the weight loss, low carb, paleo primal authority celebrity who says carbohydrates make you fat, but he looks like freaking Santa Claus. If this whole low carb diet, fad diet gimmick fails for you, Robert, you can get a job at your local uh, Macy's as a Santa Claus backup man. Because guaranteed, the kids will love you. Because you look like Santa Claus, mate. So anyway, advanced glycation end products. This is a video, I can't believe I haven't done one yet. I can't believe it. Now, here we go. Here's my second jug of the day. I don't use a cup anymore because it's a waste of water washing cups. Just drink from the jug. Mm. Banana mango, organic. That's probably gonna cost you 50 bucks in some parts of Australia. That's crazy, but, you know, Let's encourage Australians to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and charge them an arm and a leg. I don't mind because that's all I spend my money on, man. Good quality Tucker. Love my food. I'm a fucking foodie by heart, man. I'm a fucking foodie to every fucking meal. Gourmet. It's got to be gourmet quality fruit. Anyways, advanced glycation end products. Everyone always goes, you've got to eat your butter, you've got to eat your chicken. Fruit's got too much AGEs in it. <laughs> If you don't make it for this video, I'm going to post two little links down below and you can learn more about advanced glycation end products. So check out these two links below. Share them with your friends who say, oh, but you know, too much fructose, blah, blah, blah. I eat 300 to 400 grams of fructose a day, up to. Maybe sometimes 600 grams of fructose a day. Robert Lustig, Mr. Fat Overweight, Robert Lustig says over 10 grams of fructose a day make you obese. Now, I'm 4% body fat. You know, I said I'm 2% body fat, I was trolling that. 4% body fat realistically. 4% body fat realistic. Here's an example of a 4% body athlete. I think it's Alistair Brownie, I think his name is. Olympic gold medalist at the uh, triathlon in London this year. So he's 22 years of age, and you can see he's got a few wrinkles. That's low body fat. If he wanted to get rid of that, he's got two options. Get fat like Mr. Lustig, or do Brotox like a lot of the paleo primal low carb guys do. So what about advanced glycation end products? Are they, how do I minimize them, Harley? I'll tell you what, straight up, the science out there says the diet low in AGEs, advanced glycation end products, is the 80-10-10 lifestyle, fruits and vegetables. In case you didn't hear me, the science out there says, and those two links down below, or anything you look at, that the diet lowest in AGEs, advanced glycation end products, is 80-10-10, low fat, high carb, raw vegan, fruits and veggies for the win. That is just the lowest. That's the lowest. The highest diet, in advanced glycation end products is the paleo primal diet. When you cook your meat, when you fry that meat, when you grill it up, boil it, broil it, microwave, it, whatever, your advanced glycation end products with the, those amino acids, just all over the place. Massive amount of advanced glycation end products. So you might as well call the paleo primal diet, Weston A. Price low carb diet, the advanced glycation end product on steroids diet. You might as well just call it that because literally the science says that's the case. So end of the day, fruit and vegetable is the lowest. Plant protein next up, like grains and stuff like that, next up. The highest levels, animal products. Animal protein is the highest source of advanced glycation end product. So next time someone says, what about calcium, what about blah, 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 say, what about advanced glycation end products? Are you concerned about that? Because I certainly would be. I certainly would be. Get your advanced glycation end product levels checked. If you like your meat and dairy, if you like your animal products, get your advanced glycation levels checked. Saves a lot of money on the Botox, that's for sure. Angie, Angie, there you go.